we're going to try straw marker tree, we're going to need some straw. I bought mine from the good people at Something Corny, and it comes in these fancy colours. From what I've seen, the straw should be soaked before you use it. I've tried a few combinations of water temperature and time soaked, and not noticed a great difference. However, I have settled on a hot water bath for 5 minutes before I start cutting. Splitting the straw is pretty easy with a knife, just be careful with your fingers. Once the straw is split, we need to flatten it. Opening the split with fingers works okay, but an iron works well. Most of the time my straw split. Every now and again it doesn't, and it looks beautiful. No doubt I'm doing something wrong, but I'm still having fun. We need something to glue our straw to. It would be a shame to use anything too fancy, so grab some plywood, MDF, or in my case, cork coasters. Using a ruler and a knife, I'm trimming the straw so that I have a straight edge to start with. I can then line up that straight edge with the lines on the pattern and glue it in place. With the straw in place I can wipe away the excess glue and press flat with something hard. I'm using a piece of Corian. This pattern is made of straight lines and the pieces of straw line up with the previous one. Easy peasy. The second half of the pattern is the same as the first. I'm going to wrap it in baking paper and place a book on top until the glue dries. This second pattern is made of triangles which are made by gluing strips just as before. This time the straw needs to be trimmed using the pen lines as reference. Do that a few more times and ta-da! Pattern 3 is made using diamond shapes and made using the same method as before. Using a straight edge and a knife cut along the pen line. This fan pattern is made of thin triangles which are applied in the same way. Glue, clean, burnish and trim. Trimming the straw into a fine point is quite tricky so press down hard with the ruler and use light pressure with the knife. Pattern 5 is a starburst pattern made of thin triangles like pattern 4 but this time the fine point stops in the middle of the hexagon. Cut a straight edge on the straw Glue it in place, wipe off the excess glue, rub it flat, trim to the lines. Because I'm obviously an expert at this now, here are my five top tips. Number one, the glue sticks to cork and straw better when it's slightly tacky, so pour some out before you start cutting. Number two, keep some wet wipes handy, they are great for wiping away glue and there is a lot of wiping involved. Number three, rubbing and burnishing is super important if you want the straw to dry flat and it's a great way to close small gaps by sliding the straw into place. Number four, keep your knife clean. Glue builds up on the blade really quickly and it can cause the straw to tear or rip. Tip number five, subscribe to the channel. Pattern 6 is similar to pattern 2, but I want to try cutting strips that are on top of each other. My thinking behind this is, the pattern left behind should look intricate without me having to cut small parts. Having said that, let's cut some tiny pieces and do some repairs. That was fun. Really pleased with how these come out, especially the green ones. They're nice and shiny. The beauty of these coasters is we can peel the back off and 
we can decorate a laptop. What about some branding for the bandsaw? What about a touch of colour for the CNC machine? We could stick them on a box. Hold on a minute. We could put the straw straight onto the box. Let's make a box.